My name is Ladan Boroman. I was uh, born and raised in Iran. Uh, I'm a historian living in exile and also I'm a human rights activist uh, working uh, to promote human rights and democracy in Iran. You know, since the early 80s, Roya, my sister and I were involved in political activities uh, uh, within uh, pro-democracy groups. And we witnessed the rise of a new generation very, very favorable to democracy. What they wanted was just freedom and they really believed in human rights. So we thought this is the, a great time to, to launch our foundation, which is a, an online memorial that will document the stories of all the people killed judicially or extrajudicially by the Islamic Republic of Iran. We thought that putting heroes, political heroes, next to a villain whose rights have been violated will send a strong message that you, uh, human rights are universal. Oh, whether you are a, an angel or a wretched person, you, you have these rights and no one has the right to violate them. Omid is the name of the memorial, which means hope in Persian. And we created this database where you can read the stories of the victims of um, the Islamic Republic, both in English and in Farsi. And in each story, the violated human rights have been singled out so that if you click on them, you can also see which human rights have been violated in the case of this or that person. We also provide the opportunity for the families and friends to contribute to the storytelling, to the truth-telling. And we know that this not only help the family and survivor feel better and less isolated and lonely, it will also empower them. So we receive emails saying, oh, hello, Omid, I just was very depressed last night. I typed my sister's name and uh, her story popped up and I had no idea that some people had taken the time to tell her story and there is a bondage between us because they know that there, there is a bunch of people they don't know who have never known their, their loved ones but who care. What this generation should understand is that there is no winning in trying to join a corrupt game. And the only thing that they can do is to remain uh, loyal to their own ethics. As Vaclav Havel would say, try to live in truth. You will win only if you implement your rules of the game. And by doing this, you, you, know, you may think I will be isolated, I won't be in the trend. It doesn't matter because you have already you are already victorious when you do what your conscience dictates you to do.